We are with you. We're sitting behind this cactus. Yeah, he seems to have evaporated. If you could maybe call your ramp and tell him he needs to, like, speak to me if he's going to park on the taxiway indefinitely. Cactus, 2017, are you back with me? Yep. Okay, you can't hold there. What's the word on your gate? Trying to figure it out. There, Francis. What gate are you waiting for? Francis is still waiting for our gate. Yes, and what gate would that be? Uh, gate uh, 8, uh, Francis. Three one seven three is a Bravo Hold Short Whiskey. We're not yet cleared in the ramp with the aircraft on the I'm aware of that. That's why you're parked there. Call me when you can get in the ramp. Grand Air Francis 06 Super, gate 8 is available for us. No, it's not. They lied to you. So just hold there. I'll call you when it's available. I don't need you to tell me what I can see and you can't. Okay. Uh, okay, one at a time, please, gentlemen. Listen up before you key the mic and step on each other. Chinese Eastern, you had a question about your taxi route? Okay, four is available. Thank you, very good. If you can get under, over, or around the look times of 8340 between you and gate 4, you tell me about it. We'll get a little taxi practice, 2601. American 2601, hold short of runway 8 left to Charlie. Short 8 left to Charlie, 2601. I need you to use the full call sign, sir, so I can stop asking and move on to other traffic. American 2601, hold short of runway 8 left to Charlie. American Airlines 2601, short of 8 left to Charlie. American 2601 at Charlie, cross from my 8 left and then turn right on Bravo. Cross 8 left and right on Bravo, American Airlines 2601. American 2601, straight ahead, down, all the way down Bravo once you get to Victor, call ground on point 9. I assume you mean American Airlines 2601, uh, Bravo, Victor, and then uh, point 9 on the other side. I don't mean American Airlines, I mean American 2601, as, as we've said the whole time. Bravo to Victor on Victor Ground Point 9. Bravo Victor Point 9, American Airlines 2601. Negative, sir. The aircraft is still at the gate. Well, we're still it's pushing now. Okay, and I have no way to get you there, and they have not begun pushing yet. I will pull you when I can get you there, and the gate is actually available. I've been doing this for a long time. I will move you when I can get you there. Okay. We're running short of fuel. Under banana <laughs> Bonanza 296, Central Hotel, hold short 17 at Bravo, waiting up early. Hold short of 17, you just call me a banana? Uh, no sir, no sir, you did not hear that correctly. I heard it. So it's 720, got a little bit of a strange request for you. I guess the uh, previous pilot left their wallet in the uh, cockpit of that aircraft. We can get a mobile vehicle out there by your aircraft. Do you have a way you could uh, drop it out of the window or something? Yeah, we can do that. Urgent 46, anytime. Yeah, can I talk to the next person? Yeah, sir, there's about 30 guys behind you trying to depart you. Are you going to take to the runway? What are you going to do? You can sit on it. Yeah, we're taxiing, sir. It's just really slippery out here, okay? And I don't want to put too much power on it, okay? I wish you'd understand the safety. So you're moving, sir? We're putting too much power on We're obviously on a slight slippy bit here, okay? Uh, just please understand the safety. Okay, sorry. That's how Urgent 46. He just needs to inspect our left hand wing, so we just need to shut down one or two very quickly. In the meantime, we have to hold it. What are we do? Okay, so we're just getting close to our minimum fuel. We're going to move soon, sir. Uh, that's ridiculous, that's the version of fuel. It is. You guys obviously never think about safety, do you? I'd say that there's fuel enough uh, for the takeoff and uh, a couple of guys waiting for you, but. You got to speak quicker and faster. Enter the right down runway nine or right four three miles southeast. You're trying to my frequency. Wind now three two zero two three gust into three five. Target two two. Uh, we can't land on uh, two two. Uh, we're breaking off approach. And if you don't give us to uh, runway uh, three one right, we're going to declare emergency. All right, I'll pass it along. Fly runway heading for now. Okay, we're declaring emergency. We're going to land three one right. We're going to go left and then coming around. American 2 Abby, just fly runway heading. Or the area. Okay, you're saying you're declaring an emergency at this? Three times I've told you that. Three times we're declaring an emergency. Okay, I just want to verify. I know you told me if you didn't get 31 right, you would have to declare emergency. Okay, understand, fly runway heading, and i got to get you a turn. Fly heading 180. 
you don't hurt American too heavy. Uh, we are turning around to the left here and landing on 3-1. Remove everybody from our way. We've declared an emergency. We're on a visual. All right, American 2 heavy, 3 one right, clear to land with 31024, gusts in a 3 flight. Thank you. Clear to land on runway 3 one right, American 2 heavy. Cactus 12, maintain 2000, cancel approach clearance. Maintain 2000, cancel approach clearance, Cactus 12. Okay, Yeah, you can. Keep moving. I'm going to move them here in just a minute. I got traffic short final behind you. You should never take an occupied taxiway. Cap 870 heavy cross straight left, left on Delta contact ground point A. Keep that big body moving. Hey, okay, uh, cross straight left on Delta and uh, ground today. Cap 870. Thank you. Jens, we'll have you disembarking at the Melbourne terminal, uh, as we said earlier, at 9.30. And, uh, on behalf of Captain Mike Blunt, Steve, our purser, and all of the rest of the crew, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing to fly with Qantas, the spirit of Australia. Hope you have a great Christmas and New Year period, and we look forward to seeing you next time you fly. Thanks for your attention, and have a great evening. What did you say to Captain Simons? Oh, no. You was lovely. Oh, yes. <laughs> you get that, mate. No, that's he, that's he, he drops the captain and keeps his name out of it. check in? Yes, we're trying to, four right. Can you set runway four left? I'm afraid we're just a little bit uh, committed to four right. <laughs> we want to stay on four right. I understand it's a little joke, Mary. 720, following the bus short final traffic holding crossing runway. 10101, four right, four right, settle in. Land four right, American 1728. I got it, bud. That was a good one. I did too, but I believe you said it. Okay, then 671, our system is still showing you a sunish at time 1526. Uh, if that doesn't change, I will have to give you a dog leg. I copy that, kill 671, we're working on. Okay, I'm 671. 671, go. Okay, it's only 390 available. Uh as an alternative on track Charlie, 37 and 38 are both available on track Delta. Advise your preference. I came on my 671. Um, uh, we understand, but I think I will file a report about this. This is not going the way our clearance is, and I also think this is not the way you cleared the other aircraft. Okay, 671. Uh, okay, we can sp speak about this afterwards, but uh, I do need to assure separation at the moment, sir. I need four minutes at least behind the NOR shuttle, which there isn't going to be at the moment, so we need to find an alternative. So advise your preference for an alternative, please. I think NOR shuttle will be uh, accepted the clearance at 1522 at uh, Sunot. We, uh, you have four minutes with us, almost five, so... Okay, M671, uh, it looks on my system like he's going to cross at 2-3. I'm not discussing this any further, sir. Advise your preference for an alternative. I can offer you 390 on Charlie or 370 or 380 on Delta. We'll take um, 390, KLM 671. Understood, call you back. KLM 671, uh, Sharmick re clears you for the ocean crossing, flight level 390. Balance remains on change and restriction is lifted. Clear to fly level, uh, oh, Jenner clear to fly level 390, um, tell them to someone. Just got a little request being, it's pretty well my last flight. Uh, I wouldn't mind just actually over flying my house, which is about uh, 9 nautical miles to the north of the airport, just about 2 or 3 off the centre line there. Hermego 008, Shannon, uh, thank you. And are you ready for level change? Es que de la fila 1 a la 4, Delta. We are just changing level to the three four zero, right? Okay, are you ready for level change? Yeah, a few minutes, sir. Air Mango zero zero eight, Shannon descend flight level three four zero. Okay, and uh, just a question: Did you hear another voice there on the frequency? Uh, no, sir. Okay. Your voice. Okay. Shanghai Air Mango zero zero eight, radio check. Air Mexico 008, Shannon, loud and clear, how me? Thank you, thank you very much. Go 008, Shannon, it just sounded like you might have had a visitor. Air Mexico 008. Okay, yeah, that transmission I heard a while ago, it sounded like you may have had a visitor. Really? Uh, we can't hear uh, you hear the poison? 
Say again? Uh, you mean you need uh, you hear two voices in the radio? No, I heard a child's voice uh, on the radio just after I transferred you onto that frequency and you were the only aircraft on the frequency. I thought you had a visitor, maybe. No, sir, that's no, no, that's negative. We have no visitor in the cabin. Okay, then I better report it, so. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, let me explain to you. We have a problem with the uh, uh, entertainment system, and the flight attendant is uh, making a call that a uh, sad call with Mexico City, but with maintenance probably with mistake. And